Hello everyone, this is Hannah from TaxDome. Today, I'll teach you how to set up reminders in Messages. You use message reminders when you want an additional email to go out to the client if they don't respond within a certain time frame. To set up reminders when manually sending a message, click the plus new button from the left sidebar, select chat from the slide out menu, select the account where you want to send the message, select a message template, then select Enable from the Reminders field. Once you enable the reminders, you can configure the inactivity threshold days. By default, a reminder is set to go out three days after the message was sent to the client, but you can change this to a number you prefer. Limit to. By default, the client gets only one reminder email, but you can also change this to a number you prefer. Message reminders will only stop when the client has not responded to the message and the set number of reminders has been sent, when the client has responded to the last message in the thread, when all client tasks in the thread are checked off as completed, when the chat thread is moved to archive, and when the reminders option is disabled. Once done, click the Create Chat button. You can also set up a message reminder while setting up Pipeline. Go to Settings from the left sidebar, Pipelines tab, you can create a pipeline or copy from our library if you don't have one yet. But for this video, I'll use this 1040 return pipeline that I have here. In this Ask Document stage right here, we have a send message automation. Simply click the Reminders field and select Enabled. You can still configure the inactivity threshold days and limit to fields. Don't forget to click Save. Now let us check how the notification looks on the client side by going to the Accounts Info tab and click on Login as Account Read Only link. The clients can view and respond to a chat thread you've sent them by clicking this notification on their dashboard or by going to the Messages and Tasks section of their portal. They can also view and respond to a chat thread by clicking the link in the email notification they'll receive. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.